Right at today, with young Mark, the young Gary. Uh, Mark's using Garrett Euro Ace, Gary's using Laser OK, and I've got AT Pro. Right, so we'll get back to you on the first signal, hopefully. Oh, I found a 20 pence as soon as I got out of the car, so that's my first find. Surface find. <laughs> right, back to you a bit. Right, again, a steady 62, 63, and first signal. Bottom of the, or top of the can. Uh, top of the can. Right, back to you in a bit. Right, again, a lovely sweet 76, 77, 78. Uh, it looks like uh, I thought it was a bloody foil oil button then. Such a big wesher. Yeah, it's a wesher, it looks. <laughs> oh, I don't know, bloody hell. It's got some right patina on it, must be an old bugger that. That's just get to clean on my breeches just in case it is a button with middle dropped out. Now, no, I think it's a wesher. Right, some right potato on it though, that for a wesher. Right, back to it a bit. Right, my next signal, getting a 51 52. Uh, it's a coin anyhow. Turn round away from wind. I'm not sure, I think it's an old Bob. Shilling, I'm not sure. I might be wrong, I am. That's a five pence. Uh, it's decimal, but it's earlier decimal, five pence. Oh, right in the size of the bob, anyhow. There you go. Elizabeth II, five pence. Right, back to you in a bit. Right, next signal, mid to late 40s, I thought. Could be foil, and I was right. There you go. Right, back to you in a bit. Right, good old Mark, he's on George Second half pennies. Already, that's definitely a George Second and all. I've got a little nickel button and all. Nice one, pal. George Second. And a small button. Bit of pattern on it, that. Right. Is it a button or is it a stud? It could be a stud, it? could be a, it could be a stud or harness or something like that. Not sure. Still old, still knocking on. Could be a rivet through leather that. Yeah. Through leather. But uh, definitely a George second half penny. Uh, I've got a Elizabeth the second coin, five pence, old one. Old one. Bigger than. <laughs> And a, and a wesher with some right patina on it. <laughs> What's that got, Gary? What's that got? Help watch. Get an oddly shaped turn. Odd shape. Oh. Sharp as well. It's not one of them things off it. Is it? Do you swear no, it's not a spur owl. Now, but, uh, ah, some fancy decoration, anyhow. And that, that's fancy, that's old, isn't it? Mm. Some 
button on it. Thought it were a key for stuff, but it's not, it's got a screw thread on it. So it's not too old like, but possibly Victorian I'd say, or early 1900s, don't know. It's different that. Right. That's not I've gone through up middle on it. Yeah, it could be some decoration on leather work that. Yeah. I don't know. Right, back to you in a bit. We're going in wood now. Hey. <laughs> right, got a sweet signal. Nine, low 90s, 90, 90, 90, 92. Uh, I thought it might be aluminium, but now it's a copper chrome plated, uh, I reckon, back of the window winder on an old car. Right, back to you in a bit. Gary's first find it would. Somebody's travel. <laughs> Should get a rating. Right, my first find, just here on here. What inch or so down? I don't know. I don't know what it is. I thought it was part of a book, but I don't think it is. There you go. At least we sheltered a bit from the rain anyhow. Uh, Mark's not with us at the moment, he's gone right to the top of the field to climb out gate because he was a wuss and he won't climb out the fence. <laughs> he's here. <laughs> Come on you wuss! <laughs> he's here. Right, back to you in a bit. Right on path here, Sempt, I think it was a 70. 71, 72, was it? 70, 71, 72. Right. And look at that, <laughs> little bit of jewellery, can't be bad, I don't think it's gold light, gold in colour, I think it's just uh, cheap jewellery like, with some sort of stone in it, might be, might be paste, glass, or opal, <laughs> with diamonds around it. And there'll be cubic, cubic zirconia. It might be gold, I don't know. Come straight out of the ground like that, anyhow. So, who knows? Right, quite chuffed with that. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, one happy chappy. Right, back to you in a bit. Right, my next signal, Victoria, Penny, 1865, right, Mark's just spun a dog tag, we'll not show you the details, we don't want you making funny call, phone calls to somebody called Sarah, <laughs> <laughs> the dog will call Brandy, right, back to you in a bit, don't mark you with Bricky's ass. <laughs> <laughs> And Gary with uh, an old pinfire shotgun cap. Nice one, mate. Mark's next find, a bit of tinfoil. I'll get plenty of that in wood, mate. Right, back to you in a bit. Right, 47, 48. Possibly a shotgun cap, but it's round and it's in the ground. Oh, it's not. Oh, it is. It's a fucking shotty cap. Arrgh. <laughs> Never mind, I suspected it was, but it's how it goes in it. Right, back to you in a bit. Right, fantastic signal here, 79, 80, 81. And there you go, it's based to one, uh, one of the mills and grenades. Grenade base. And we're not far off military camp where military camp used to be. So, uh, right, there you go. Back to you in a bit. Somebody yeah, in a fantastic 61, 62 here. And it's uh, a bit of a can, I think. Right, back to you in a bit. Right, the next signal. It's like a CO3 bullet casing. There you go. Back to you in a bit. Right, Gary's from this. 
Uh, I'm not sure if it would have been a loop there for a button, but now I don't know for sure. But it's beautiful round at one side, and then it's like dome shaped there. So, not sure. Right, back to you in a bit. Right, this is what they call New Old Camp. It's uh, old Barnsley Pals army base. Uh, I'm decking this for you so you can, I don't know, zoom in or pause video or whatever you want to do. I'll, I'll do a bit like that. We can't detect in here, because we ain't got permission, but we're doing wood all round it. So, there you go, we're not doing note naughty. Barnsley Pulse doing this That's mint That's cool as all that Cool as all this, isn't it? Mint. Don't get it here. Next up, pals. We've all got flat ears. <laughs> but that's old camp. So and that's where we've left his detectors so that we're not getting uh, a bollocking for coming on here and detecting. Because before I go anywhere, me, I prefer to get permission. Just seen a squiddle run across the grass up there. Miss that. Right. This old army thing. Right? Yeah, this is old army base, mate. Old army camp. New old camp. First World War. Right. You've seen enough of that, anyhow. Right. Just got this. Oh, some have done it. Some have wrote on it. I'm parting on it to some So let me go into macro, see if it makes any difference. Right, there you go, that's macro. Oh, you know, it is good, that, isn't it? Oh, some have done it, but I don't know. I think it's a 61 that. Here Gary. Sixty-one. Mm. M. I know what it could be. It could be electrolytic capacitor. Right, that's what I think it is. 
Right, back to you now. Right, solid 60, and there you go, it's a 20 pence piece. Elizabeth the second. I'm not even going to bother pissing about looking for a date. But there you go, right. Well, it's there, I think. I don't know. 2007, I think. Right, back to you in a bit. Right, here you go, on the surface. It's been fired. Somebody's crimped that back together. Somebody's crimped that back together, it's been fired. Right, back to you in a bit. Mark with his first Celtic cock ring. Actually a tarpaulin ring, but there you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's a CCR. Right, back to you in a bit. Absolutely pissing it down. What's got me one of these? Brilliant, Mark. I'm just letting Mark have a go with AT Pro. He says, I'm having him one of these. <laughs> right, back to you in a bit. Mark with his Celtic cock ring. <laughs> More than likely what they'd have tethered a, an horse or something to. And it's fastened reins to it. Yeah. Right, back to you in a bit. Right, we're back out of wood, up field. It's pissing it down, it's as windy as open fucking sun's out. <laughs> I don't know. Don't we get some right weather in England? Right, we're heading back to the car now, anyhow, so back to you in a bit. My first field, it was screaming at me. 881 back in field, right? And it's a, a disc shaped piece of lead. Some scratching on it. I don't know whether it's been done purposely that or what, or whether it's been done a bit plough or what, I don't know. But, uh, right, there you go. Back to you in a bit. Right, my next find is a surface find. And it's a porcelain eared. Yeah, there that goes. That looks spooky. There you go. Right, Gary just showed me this. And it's a belt buckle. It's not a modern and like, but they still make them like this. But it's got some age weight, this. Definitely got some age weight. Nice find mate. Right. It's got this lovely sweet signal. Victoria Vailed half penny. I don't know if take some cleaning up with this mud. It's a pain in the ass. Right, happy with that. Back to you in a bit. Right, just gonna pick uh, clods up and wave them in front of the detector. And I spotted that. Can you see it? I can. <laughs> like another half a pence. Yep. Another half a pence. Just wiping it on my kicks. Give me a minute, let me clean it up. Right, I think it's another Vicky, I'm not right sure. I think it's his 1800 at bottom, but let's have a look. 
1862 so it's another Vickies Victoria well well worn though that Christ I think I can just see it bunhead right I'm not bothered now but it is it's still a coin right another Vicky half penny right back to you in a bit right I don't mind first my round up some bits of lead there uh, piece of copper and all then a lot of shite here as usual a bit of coke as well pipe stem doll's eared uh, shotgun cap two bullet casings that one's been crimped back together that which has been shot uh, mills and grenade base not sure about that, it's got thread around it, so we're not sure if that's off uh, some uh, bong or something. Uh, piece of lead with some scratchings on it here. So whether they've been done purposely or not, I don't know. That there, I showed you that earlier in the video, I don't know what it is. Bit of bronze, and oldest version I've ever seen, it's got some red patina on it. Then, a 20 pence spendable, a 5 pence that's not spendable now, a Victorian half penny, another Victorian half penny, and a Victorian penny. Right, nearly forgot about this. We've got like diamond like stones around the edge and an opal like stone in the middle. And gold, but it's not gold, I think it's just costume jewellery, so. Right. Back to you now. and that's mine. Right, what to get is right. I'm gonna chuck that. Is that for a lantern? You might be in. It's off for a lantern bit, looks, isn't it? <laughs> oh, now is it all? It's got wires. wires. <laughs> right, and now some sort of leaf fitting or something. <laughs> some pipe here, some uh, <laughs> this is all the rubbish, isn't it? Yeah, that's pot mend. That's definitely a pot mend. Or the, ah, somebody might correct me on that. It might be one of them clacker valves for bog. I don't know. I'm not sure. But anyhow, I think I'm more likely to collect, correct me on that. Uh, right, these other things and uh, ring poles and alley copper and chrome. Right, and then down to his better stuff. Uh, is that a little? And is, is it a doofer? Musket ball, pistol ball. No, it says oh, sort of like that. Yeah. Is that what is it? Oh, it's centered out in a shotgun. Yeah. That's what goes in the rubbish pile. That. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't put it there. Right, that there. Uh, we're not sure about, but you've seen, seen it on video. Uh, a pinfire shotgun cartridge. That's old. Don't know about that. I think it could be Victorian. It's got a screw thread on it, but don't know what it is. First off, I thought it was a clock winder. Then that, I would have imagined that's gone on a bit of leather work or a bit of furniture. No idea. Don't know what that is. A bit of uh, blue pottery. A spendable penny. A spendable quid. And a nice buckle. A type of belt buckle, that is. It's like I used to have on my uh, belt when I was in the army. Right, it's like got a tongue that goes through there and pulls back. Right. Oh. Light, light up there. Yeah, it's true. Right. 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 So here's all Mark's rubbish. Uh, nails and uh, bits of all sorts of crap and whatever that is. Don't know what that is. It's a cop ring. Another cock ring, and that's for fastening horses up, or something like that, for tethering them. A few uh, ring pulls, a bit of foil. Uh, not sure about that one, it's it? so for a candle stick or what? Uh, that, oh, it's that Celtic cock ring, that's that tarpaulin ring. Tarpaulin ring. That's the furniture fitting, a modern one. Put the screws in and it drops into an oil or something. He's got his dog tag. Uh, what's that? Is that George II? Yeah. That's that George II 
lovely coin that beauty that's coin at day that without a doubt uh, nice and then he's got a couple of buttons a couple of nice little buttons not sure about that one whether that's rivet or what but it's a button right and that could be off a part same as that in a mine off for a bomb or something right but we're not sure right so don't like those searches lads from Mark, cheers from me, from Gary, and from myself, please like, comment and subscribe, till next time, see ya.